Well, hello, I'm back with um, some beautiful, unique dolls here. My name is Nani from Booties and Bonnets. Um, I've always loved dolls, any kind of dolls. I, I love baby dolls of different, you know, of different sizes, um, compositions. I love going to doll shows. Um, uh, there has been one person in the Reborn community that has just inspired me to really um, bring out my other dolls that I collect, and that's Suzanne from Baby Bunting Nursery. So, hi Suzanne. I'm really happy to be doing this. Um, so I've got, let's see, how many babies here? Five. I've got, and some are a little bigger than the others. Um, this little girl here, she... Uh, one leg is, you know, her skin is kind of a little darker, like African-American, even though her face is white, which I don't understand how that happened. But I bought her at an antique um, show or a doll show. So I'll kind of explain each doll to you so that everybody can see, you know, who made them and that we're really interested in that. I know all of us who watch doll um the doll channel or reborn channel we like dolls too of any kind so um, I had to take some notes because um, it's hard to keep track of all this and you know they're from different years and uh, different companies and and that so um, so I'll start with this little one she is look at this little precious she I bought her at a doll show and she kind of has uh, brown hair and big brown eyes and her eyes open and close look at that she, they close and open i've always loved dollies that open and close your eyes i think they're just so unique let me make sure that i can yeah that you can see really well um so she's that um she can, she's called the f and b from 1957 so she, um, I dressed her in a really pretty dress, kind of a yellowish, light yellow dress. And it has, um, I forget what you call this in the front here, but it's from a uh, dress from probably the 1970s. I love that style of dress. So I thought I'd put that on. Um, I might have to make her some little booties because um, I don't have white booties for her, but I thought she was just beautiful. Look at her, and I love her little face. Um, she's wearing a bonnet, uh, and she, her body is made out of cloth, and she has three-quarter length arms, and let's see, what does she have for legs? Oh, she has three-quarter uh, three quarter length legs, too. Um, let's see. I'll see what her little feet look like. Uh, sh she's got very chunky feet kind of big um, little chunky feet look at those little legs I just love those oopsie um, and her little hands are open which I love that about her but when I bought her I just loved her smile she has the cutest smile I think so um, and her eyes just open very easily I mean and they close very easily um, when I was in middle school or grade school, I had another dolly that had open eyes that could open and close. And I think she's at my mom's somewhere. Um, I know my mom has kept a lot of things. So someday I'd like to get her back. But anyway, I hope you like this little one. She's the F&B 1957, um, it says here. Yeah. And she's in very good shape. I think she was loved very gently. She, whoever took care of her did a very good job. She was well taken care of. And uh, so anyway, that's, that's the one. Okay, here I have, this is the, um, this little girl was made um, by the Sun Rubber Company in 1950. Uh, no, actually this is the Sun Rubber Company. Okay, this little one. She, sorry about that. Like I said, I'm learning about all these dolls. Um, she was made by the Sun Rubber Company in 1956. My mom gave her to me for my birthday. 
I just gave her a nice little bath because she was kind of dirty. And uh, I'm not, I couldn't find uh, what type of dolly she was. Um, it just says Sun Rubber Company and that she was made in 1956. Uh, she's covered up in this really cute little blanket that my mom um, gave me. She's very sweet. And she is dressed. She has like little, uh, look at that, her clothes is like plastic. Isn't that unique? And she's got little plastic shoes and uh, little plastic socks. Um, so she's vinyl or whatever. She's made out of vinyl. Let's see here it says, yeah, it says the rubber company, 1956. But it just doesn't say what kind of dolly she is. I was trying to find her name someplace. I'll have to really look at it carefully. But if anybody knows where she came from, let me know what what her name is. Or, um, you know, each doll has her own name. Um, but I, I thought she was so sweet with those blue eyes. And I love the way her hair is kind of um, painted. And uh, and I'm not sure what this is back here. It has like a little hole for something. Maybe that's, you know, the way they were made back then. But anyway, she's a sweet little girl. So I thought I'd, um, I'll cover her up again. I may have to get her a little dress or pajamas sometime. Yeah, I'm guessing she's about 12 inches tall. Yeah, somewhere in there, about 12 inches. So, so there is a... There's this little dolly. Okay, then I'll bring another baby. Let's put her back over here. I learned a lot this morning. I was researching all these dolls. It's good to Google them up. If you're, if you're not sure what a doll is, it really helps. Um, let's see, this is, the, this is the Patsy baby. And I love her little... I got this at a doll show or a... Actually, yeah, it was an antique place that I went to, and I just, she was only like five dollars, and I just fell in love with her little face. She has kind of a bluish eyes, hard to say, or brownish eyes, and I just love her very delicate little face, and um, she's made out, she's a composition doll. Her face is more of a composition um feel to it and then her her little body is more rubber it feels like rubber so it's very soft and I think this is her original dress look at that isn't that beautiful somebody really loved this little dolly a lot and um, it says made in the US and the patent number is 2252077 so I may have to look her up a little more and find more, find out about her a little more. But she's the Patsy Baby from the 1940s, and it, and she was made by the F and B Company. So I just I thought she just looks so baby-like. I love her little face, and like I said, I've always loved baby faces. And and I don't know why one. One leg is one color and the other is the other color. I'm not sure what happened there. but um, And she does have like a cloth body underneath. Look at that. Isn't that something? So she was very well taken care of. Um, she has a cloth body and it's stuffed inside. But look at that. And she does have a few little patches. Whoever was loved her very much had to put some patches on her um, body because you know they you love them so much that they some of them kind of wear out the bodies might wear out but uh, they do say keep them in their original um, their, yeah keep the original don't ever change the body or that because it takes away from the value of the doll so okay so that's the Patsy dolly this is the Let's see, which one? Okay, this is the Lizzie doll. Look at that little face. I love that little dress. It has like little butterflies, pink and white butterflies. And she's the Lizzie doll Two Hearts collection. 
Um, and she does have a music box in the back. Um, I just fell in love with this little one. I did look her up and I, look at that outfit. It is just so cute. And she has like a cloth body too. Um, but she, she has a box, a music box back here. And it plays music. But it kind of broke the, um, the thing to wind it up. It's not working. But I was hoping I could hear the what kind of music she has. So she's the Lizzie doll. L-I-S-S-I. Uh, Lizzie Doll Two Hearts Collection, and uh, I don't know, I couldn't find what year she was from. She might have been from the 60s, possibly. Um, I was trying to find it, but I couldn't find the date. Yeah, it just says number 25 back here. So, um, if anybody knows about what time, what year she would have been uh, produced, I'd love to hear here, um, please comment down below. So, but she, look at her little hand. She has one open hand, and this little hand is kind of um, open too. But I love her little dainty fingers, and look at that. So she's a sleeping baby, isn't she? Just beautiful. And somebody embroidered this. It looks like it's hand embroidered. But so anyway, I'll put her back. Yep, there she is. So cute. It's fun to play with our Reborns, but it's also fun to have other dollies that we can talk about. And this one, um, she's a real baby dolly. I found her at a doll show too. Look at that face. I love her. Um, she's all cloth. She has uh, open and close eyes. Her eyes close when you lay her down. And she has little Eye, eyelashes and I just love that little face look at that face and she has a cloth body in, on the inside um, let's see it's about like three quarter length yeah like a three quarter length cloth body and uh, her hair is kind of a reddish um, strawberry blonde hair I tried to comb it down um, <laughs> I tried my best but and this is the Baruha doll. I think that's what it says here, Baruha. And yeah, Baruha. And it says 53. So I'm not sure. To me, she would look. She looks like she'd be from the 1960s. But um, but boy, when I was a little girl, this is just the kind of doll I would have loved playing with. You know, with the the real baby look. Look at that. She even has a little thumb, like she's going to suck her thumb. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, she's so sweet. And uh, I love her cloth body. Let's see. I put these little sleep the sleeper on her, which fits her pretty well. Um, she might have had a new body put on because this one is very white, um, which I'm amazed, you know, how white it is. So maybe somebody replaced her. Her body and it has a zipper on the back um, but she was probably loved very much too and then they did, she needed a body change but um, so I want to make sure we'll snap this off snap it up so she's a Baruha um, doll from 19 it says 53 so that, I don't know if that means she was number 53 or if she was made in 1953 but so yeah I just love all these dollies um, when I was young and living in South America they didn't have a lot of dolls they were all like vi all like strict vinyl with no cloth bodies and I my grandma brought one down for me one year and I was just so excited and I said I wanted one that looked like a real baby and so she brought me one and I dressed her and real baby clothes and we'd go to the dime store and my mom and I my mom would say let's go to the baby department so we'd go there and um, I'd pick just the baby I want just the clothes I wanted that's so uh, so I guess no matter what age we are we love our dollies don't we but anyway so this is my collection of little dolls um, I also have 
a lot of them from like different countries that my in, my relatives they've traveled quite a bit and they used to send some dolls home or bring dolls back and so I've got a, my mom has a big collection of like dolls like that that someday I'd like to show but I thought today I'd come on and show these and um, let's see and I wanted to show you the book here 200 years of dolls by Don Herlocker Herlocker her latcher and it's got a lot of neat dolls inside oh my gosh I could spend all day just looking at this book um, and it gives you like the name what year they were made uh, you know what they're made out of um, look at those faces wow there's some really unique dolls in here look at that wow amazing um, so I wanted to show this to Suzanne from Baby Bunting Nursery because I know she's really into uh, collecting dolls. Look at all these. And I, and by the way, Suzanne, I love to see your dolls. I've, I'm so intrigued by your collection. So thank you for sharing it with us and uh, uh, really appreciate you doing that. But. So I want to thank everybody for coming and joining me today. And uh, if you have any vintage dolls that you want to show, um, I'm sure the Reborn community would love to see them. Um, we all love dolls no matter what they are, right? So, but thank you for joining me. And I wish everybody a wonderful weekend and stay safe out there. So uh, many blessings to everybody. Bye-bye.